two subjects. Yes. First, on immigration today, is the administration confident that U.S. citizenship and immigration services can handle possibly hundreds of thousands of new applications, given the current backlog of other immigration applications? So, look, we have always said, and I, I said this at the top, like the way that we would love to move forward is in a more balance, a balance approach, obviously, and uh, and get that bipartisanship from Congress. Uh, the first day of his administration, as I've already stated, and I've stated this many times, we wanted to see an, a comprehensive, comprehensive immigration uh, uh, process, a legislation. That's what the president put forward. He wanted to see that. Congress never moved. And when they did decide to move on something, we worked in a bipartisan way. The former president told Republicans in Congress, Republican senators more specifically, and told them, don't move on this. Don't move on this because it's going to hurt me and help Joe Biden. And we had a bipartisan approach, which would have made the immigration system more fair uh, and tougher. And we didn't move in that way. And so the president has said that he's going to take actions. He's going to take actions to secure the border, as he did with the executive order that he signed just about two, two weeks ago or so, and that he also wants to make sure we keep American families together. So, look, um, we're obviously going to hear from the uh, from uh, the president later today, uh, and uh, we believe that we can get this done. We believe it's an important uh, part of the president's uh, you know immigration policy and keeping uh, American families together, uh, making sure that we are protecting American families is a priority for this president. And so uh, we believe that this could move forward.